Hey everyone! So today I wanted to talk to you about these strange rock piles that I've been finding on different trails that I've been walking on over the last few months. So I have noticed a few of these rock piles, but today I'm just going to focus on one particular event that happened yesterday when I was walking the Old Ford Road, which is about an hour and a half drive um, west from Sydney Centre. Alright, so I get to where this walk starts and there's a sign that says the Old Ford Road and then you can either walk to the left or to the right and I wasn't sure which way to go so I just decided to go left. <laughs> so now that I think about it, um, I took the left hand path and that basically sets the tone for this story. Okay, so I'm walking for about the first five minutes. It's just a really flat, wide track, no problem. Um, I then get to a crossroads and one of the crossroads has this little sort of stack of rocks in the middle of it. The stack was maybe, oh, let's say 15 centimeters high, about seven inches, I think, just stacked right in the middle of the pathway. And I'm thinking, hey, it's, it's one of these rock piles again. Now, the first time that I ever saw these rock piles was maybe a few months ago. It's in another video that I did called Using an Islam Sanka in Fairyland. Um, check it out if you haven't already. I will link to it at the end of this video. Um, but basically I saw that rock pile at a crossroads and there was no other uh, signpost in the area and I thought, okay, these rocks must be here to help you navigate. So. Um, if, if you might come back that way, it would be helpful to know, you know, were the rocks to my left or to my right. So at first I thought, okay, these rock piles are just um, here to help you navigate, no problem. Anyway, I kept walking and I found more of these rock piles, but they were just along the trail, like they weren't marking anything. So I just thought like, what, what are they here for? Like, like are, are they still here to help you navigate? Uh, they don't seem to be near a point of interest. Um, I don't know. And then I did some other walks and yeah, I started seeing these rock piles all over the place um, and even sort of more out into the bush. So again, not marking anything that I could see, just like random rock piles out in nature. And I'm thinking, what, what are these for? Whatever. The mysteries of life. Um, so anyway, today, oh sorry, yesterday I was out walking again and I saw this little rock pile right in the middle of the track and I thought, these rock piles again, what are they for? So out of curiosity, I followed the path that had the rock pile. I kept walking, it was just about like a five minute walk. Um, and then there was just kind of like a cliff face. And I thought, okay, that's, that's the end of the walk. Um, yeah, it was a very short five minute walk, but oh well, I may as well, you know, just stand at the edge of the cliff and just like at least, you know, get a, get a good view of this place. All right, so I do that. And I look down and I see another rock pile. And I'm like, what is this doing here? It's completely off-road. Like this, this can't be a marker for anything. You would have to like climb down this cliff face and the trail has clearly stopped. Like what is this rock pile marking? And then I kept looking and I saw a pile of bones pretty close to the rock pile. And I'm like, okay, this is like some black magic business there's some kind of like sacrifice going on this rock pile like marks the spot for this like witchcraft business um i've since spoken to a friend about it and he's like oh relax the the bones were maybe just um the the remains of, of a feral cat having its meal and i thought yeah okay you know that that does actually make a bit more sense but that still doesn't explain the rocks and i am curious to know what's going on so i climbed down the cliff face um, I have to stress it, it wasn't a really steep descent um, so I wasn't like you know abseiling down or anything like that climbed down kept walking and found even more of these little rock piles um, all in a straight line and there's one point where there are about three rock piles maybe ooh, let's say three meters apart uh, what, what's that in feet um, about nine feet apart so yeah like a rock pile nine feet rock pile nine feet rock pile and I'm thinking okay this is deliberate whoever has put this here has you deliberately put these rock piles next to one another going in a straight line so I kept following them I got to another you know quote-unquote cliff face and there's just a larger stack of rocks 
again I looked around we were really off track by now um, yeah I, I don't think it would be recommended that you go off track like I did so I certainly don't think the, the rocks were put there um, legitimately by the local council or by um, local residents trying to help people navigate um, yeah so I climbed down that sort of rock face again uh, I kept walking for a few more minutes but yeah I was definitely off track I didn't see any more rock piles so I decided to turn around and come back and I'm thinking um, yeah I just I just don't know what to think about these rock piles who who put them here and I started thinking well they seem to go in a straight line this time around like I do think they were placed deliberately and I started wondering um, yeah maybe it is to lead someone somewhere but maybe it's not official um, that being said it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's something illegal um, but yeah I, I just think they were very organized um, so anyway I, I went back the way I came just uh, walked in a straight line follow the rocks um, and then I got back to you know how I said there was the uh, crossroads and there was the one that had the little rock pile and the one that didn't have the rock pile okay so I followed the path that didn't have the rock pile and that just um, took me in a circuit back to the start of the walkway and I'm like hmm okay so if I follow the rocks that takes me out to the middle of nowhere that takes me off track in the bush again I don't think that's recommended um, but yeah who, who would do that who would lead you off track and you know maybe it wasn't meant for me anyway so I get back to the starting point where there's the sign that says the old Ford Road so initially I took the left hand track um, this time I said okay let's see what what goes uh, to the right so I took the right hand path this time and there were clear signs that said basin walk so along the right hand path if you were ever thinking oh which way do I go where's the track there were clear signs that led you down the track and eventually got you to the Georges River Basin um, now I have my theories about whether it should be pronounced Georges River or Georges River but whatever I digress that's a different story anyway so basically my point is if you follow the right hand path there are clear signs that keep you on the track and that take you to a destination whereas when I took the left hand path if I had just taken the left fork in the road and turned left again that would have been um, a shorter walk uh, a little less interesting but it still stayed on the track and still got you back to where it started so um, if you wanted um, less of a workout you could do that walk but if you follow the rock piles it takes you completely off track so again I just I don't know who placed these rocks here I, again I don't think it was legitimate I, I don't think the local council would um, you know try to lead you off track by placing these rock piles there and clearly they can afford some signs because the track on the right path down the basin walk had proper signs um, yeah so I, I just thought it was really intriguing um, I googled it and I'm not the first person to notice these rock piles um, not even the first person in Australia to notice these rock piles um, yeah no one no one really has a definite answer for what they're for um, some people think they might be um, just a bit of a hoax or it might just be uh, someone wanting to sort of mark their, their pilgrimage uh, which I did do something similar in a recent video that I posted called I found a private beach where I think people had stacked some rocks to show that they had visited this area but those rock piles were or that rock pile I should say um, it was disorganized it was just like a loose gathering of rocks and pebbles whereas the ones that I've been seeing in the woods they they either form a tower or like a pyramid shape so yeah it, it just seems more organized um, another friend of mine thinks that maybe there are some people that do research um, maybe someone who's you know studying bats in caves and they need to go off track for that so it's just for them personally to, to know where the research site is um, yeah I don't know um, let me know what you guys think so yeah thank you for watching and um, hopefully I will see you next time